Hey guys, I'm Laura with Down Home with Lemon Pie and today I am going to be making apple cider from apple juice. Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new, I actually wrote a blog post on this. Um, this is a recipe that we make regularly in our home, especially this time of year in the fall. And um, it's just delicious and it is easy and inexpensive. So we make it quite often. Um, I love it. So I'm gonna just make it real, real quick for you guys. Um, after I made the blog post, I had some requests that we do a video for it. So that is what I'm doing right now. So let's get started. Okay guys, let's see what our ingredients are. This is a giant thing of apple juice. Um, I just get that at Walmart and it costs like less than $2, I'm pretty sure. Um, anyways, it's huge, what does it say? 96 ounces. Um, I'm gonna add an apple. I'm gonna slice that up. I have some oranges. You can use any oranges. These are just the ones that I happen to have. These are just those easy peel little mandarins, but any orange is fine. We're gonna have allspice, cloves, cinnamon. You can use any cinnamon. Um, I prefer the sticks for this recipe because um, I don't know. It's just more fancy and I like watching it cook and they're kind of floating on the top. So I like that um, at the beginning and then they sink to the bottom. Also, you can use any sweetener that you prefer. So normally I use brown sugar. Um, I've also used maple syrup. That's very good. Very good. And today I'm going to be using this agave. Um, this is great for cooking and you can... Um, uh, it's really good, but it's super sweet. So I'm using it for this recipe because I like the apple cider a little bit sweeter. So that's what I'm using for that. Um, anyways, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is we are going to pour, I'm gonna pour this whole thing into my pot. I've got my pot here. I'm gonna pour this whole thing of apple juice into the pot. And um, while that is warming up, I am going to cut up my oranges and my apples apple and then I'm going to put in the spices. Okay guys, so I got that all set up right here. Um, there you go. As you can tell, I used the whole apple in this recipe for this video, but on my blog, I always say that you can use just half. It's really just to taste, so it's kind of your choice. My kids actually like the apple in their cup once it has cooked, so the more I put in here, the more they get. So I have six kids, so I try to put more in there so they can all get enough. Um, all right, we're going to be doing a teaspoon of each of these. We've got um, allspice and cloves. We're going to be doing one teaspoon of each of those. I just kind of guesstimate it. Look how pretty. Here's my little chef helper right here. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put in this here um about a third a cup i'm just gonna kind of <laughs> guesstimate it so here we go so this recipe is really to taste it's really about making it what your family 
prefers. Um, I have the recipe on the blog and there, I think I only said four cups for the juice. Um, so I did a ton more for this because I did the whole jug. So I'm doing a little bit of extra for the sweetener. I'm gonna turn this down just a hair because it's really starting to go now. <clears throat> so I did just a hair less than that. It's really just a taste. You may have to make it a couple times to get it exactly like your family prefers. But um, anyways, I think it's great. Here is how beautiful it looks while it is ready to cook. Like, isn't that gorgeous? So I'm just gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna check it and taste it and it will be perfect. If you haven't seen my caramel video, I am uploading a caramel video if um, so that you can see that as well. And that one has a caramel sauce that you can make at home that is delicious in this. I will tell you, do not add it um, while this is cooking because it'll make little like chunks, but add it like after your cup, when you already have it in your cup and you're ready to drink it and enjoy it and love it, then pour it, put in some caramel and it is perfect like that. So, all right, we're gonna let this go for 30 minutes. 